Apps from social media, games, and just scrolling on the internet are great ways to keep us all connected with everyone now more than ever. The problem is it can lend itself to many distractions that keep us from getting things done. Apple created a specific mode years ago called Do Not Disturb. It was a nice, but not very customizable option as it simply blocked notifications from everyone and everything unless it was on your safe sender list. Then just a few months ago, we got a huge and extremely helpful expansion to that in an all new mode called Focus Mode. In today's video, we'll take a look at what Focus Mode is and how to use it. So let's roll that intro and let's talk tech. I'm Arnell with Ardently Tech. On this channel, we talk all things tech with videos of product reviews, tech hacks, tutorials, and more. Tech was made to make our lives easier and we're here to help you understand it all. Make sure to subscribe if you're a tech lover or if you just wanna learn more about it. As I mentioned earlier, Focus Mode is a deeper expansion on Do Not Disturb. However, it does much more than just blocking notifications. It can change the complete look and feel of your phone depending on your location or the time of day. What if you're at the gym and you wanna see your home screen to display only fitness tracking and music apps? Or if you're at the office and wanna limit just about everything to stay focused on your tasks with it automatically switching to allow social media during your lunch hour. There are countless uses for focus mode. So let's get it set up. On your iPhone running iOS 15 or higher, you'll go to settings and scroll down to focus. Here, you'll see a list of various options of preset focus modes that you can customize. The plus button at the top allows you to create your own custom mode specific for working out, gaming, and a few others while also being able to create your own completely from scratch and naming it whatever you want. For today's video, we'll take a look at creating a fitness focus mode. Click on the type of focus mode you want. And here, you'll see some more information specific to this fitness mode. For example, you can choose to have it start automatically when you get to the gym or when you start a workout on your Apple Watch. Or if you're also using a certain app for things like stretching or meditation. Next, you'll come to a screen where you can choose the specific people you want to allow to receive notifications from when you're working out, or you can choose a group like favorites to allow notifications from everyone in that group. Next, you can choose certain apps to allow notifications from while you're in this mode. For example, if you need to allow emails to come through or if you want to allow notifications for your smart doorbell to ring through, you can customize this to be notified by the specific apps that are important to you. Here, we're at the main screen of the fitness focus mode once it's all set up. Even after that initial setup, you can still customize it further by going back and adding important contacts and apps for notifications, customizing each home screen you want to display, customizing aspects of the lock screen, like keeping it dimmed, or here you can schedule it to start by putting in your gym's location so it will automatically start this focus mode based on you arriving to your favorite gym or even the park that you work out at. The same steps we use to set up this focus mode are the exact same steps with different customization options that you can use for any focus mode, like work. There are lots of very useful features to automatically put your phone in focus mode like having it automatically silence notifications and dimming your screen when you go to the movie theaters by creating a custom cinema focus mode. Or even creating a focus mode that automatically shows a home screen that lists all your groceries on a reminder list when you arrive at Target and allows texts and phone calls from your significant other to reach out to you to make sure you don't forget something at the store. You can also put a sleep mode that dims your screen, allows notifications from specific contacts or groups, and alerts you from your security system so you can sleep with less distractions but still know about all the important things. It's also important to note that no matter what focus mode you're in, you can always still access any other app by just scrolling over to your app library. Focus doesn't exclude apps from being accessed. It just limits the notifications and visual distractions from seeing all of your apps on screen in front of you at all times. Remember, this makes your phone experience much more intuitive and beneficial depending on where you are or the time of day. 
Overall, focus mode is a huge upgrade for the iPhone, and it really steps up your productivity level in so many ways. Taking a few quick minutes to set up a focus mode for spaces you typically go to really helps to keep you efficient and keeps things moving so you can think less about what you have to do and just do it. If you found value in this video, hit that subscribe button down below and drop a like for us as well. We're a new tech channel working to grow in this space to talk about tech and advancements that we love and just making our lives easier. Adrian and I are a couple of dads with a passion for tech, and we love sharing that knowledge and learning with you. Speaking of being dads, next week we are dropping a video on our best tech gift ideas for your dad or father figure in your life for Father's Day. So be sure to subscribe and check that out. If you liked this video on focus mode and want to learn more about extra and deeper ways to use your iPhone to stay productive, Stay tuned for another video in a few weeks where I go over my various ways I use my own phone to keep me productive in my family and work life. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.